Welcome. So this tapping video is to explore some of the emotions that might arise around eating what we'll call disorders. Disorder is an interesting word because disorder tends to assume that something has gone wrong. Whereas in actual fact, your body is working exactly as it should be. It's just been programmed in a different way. So that might be uncomfortable for you now, but what we can do is explore some of these emotions and see just what comes up, see what we can discover inside that might be causing these behaviors to arise. Okay. So we're going to tap on certain parts of the body. This is an acupressure technique uh, that helps to release emotion that's trapped within the body. I'm going to start with this point here on the, we call this one the karate chop. So if you'd like to tap along with me and say the things that I say and just explore the physical sensations of the feelings in the body, any thoughts, images or symbols that come up, it's like an investigation to see what happens when we do this and what it unearths. Okay. So let's take a nice deep breath. Even though I have this eating disorder, I know you should fix it, but it's really painful. It's really causing a lot of problems in my life. I really don't like being where I am. I feel I have to punish myself. And none of this is okay. I choose to love and honor and accept myself in this moment. Even though I have an eating disorder and I feel I have to punish myself by denying myself food, and it makes me feel really terrible and it affects me and others around me, which can make me feel even worse. I choose to love and honor and accept myself as much as I can in this moment. Even though I have this eating disorder and I've tried everything and I just can't beat it. And it's making my life miserable. I don't know what to do. It feels really heavy. And it's really upsetting. But I choose to love, honor, and accept myself. And forgive myself in this moment. I also choose to forgive anyone else who might have contributed to this disorder, no matter how hard it can be. This eating disorder It's ruining my life. It's consuming all my time. It's consuming all my energy. I don't know what to do about it. I feel helpless towards it.
sometimes it feels hopeless. I just feel like I need to punish myself. I feel like I need to deny myself food. I feel I need to deny myself nourishment. It makes me feel guilty. It makes me feel ashamed. I shouldn't be allowed food. I need to punish myself. It has to be this way. It just feels so heavy. It's so difficult. It's so hard living with this. I don't know what to do about it. It is difficult. And I am suffering. And a part of me wishes that I wasn't. Because it's stopping me from living my life. But in this moment, I can choose to breathe. In this moment, choose to be okay. Not that the disorder has disappeared. Not that all my problems have gone away. But just for this moment, can choose to relax. And see what happens next. I wonder why I feel so guilty. I wonder why I need to punish myself. I wonder why I deny myself nourishment. I wonder who told me that this was the thing I should do. I wonder where I learned these behaviors. They certainly don't feel true to me. They certainly don't feel like who I think I should be. They don't feel aligned with a higher purpose. And they don't feel aligned with the real me. So I wonder where I learned them. And I wonder if I still need them. Maybe I do need to punish myself.
even though I might not want to. Maybe that's just what I learned how to do. Maybe I learned from childhood. That I need to punish my body. Because it's not good enough. It's not enough. Therefore, I need to be punished. Choosing to release all this guilt. Choosing to release all this shame. Choosing to release all these negative emotions. Choosing to let go on a cellular level. Is it safe? Could I really let go of this disorder? Who would I be without it? Maybe in some way it's helping me. Maybe in some way it thinks it's helping me. Maybe that's why it's happening. But perhaps now it's no longer needed. Perhaps now I no longer need to punish myself. Perhaps things have changed. And even though it seems really difficult to love myself, perhaps I'm ready for that. Sometimes it takes great courage. To love myself. Even when I think I don't deserve it. Choosing to let that courage in. I'm going through some really difficult times right now. And no amount of beating myself up is going to help that. So I could beat myself up for beating myself up. I could make myself feel guilty for feeling guilty. That would just be the same emotion again. Releasing this need for guilt. Releasing this need for guilt on a biochemical level. Releasing this addiction to guilt. Releasing this addiction to self-punishment. Releasing the chemical craving for guilt. Releasing the biochemical craving for self-punishment. Can it really be that easy? It 
surely not. Maybe not. But at least it's a start. I choose to step in the right direction. Choosing to breathe deep. And at least move towards self-love. Moving in the direction of harmony. Maybe it's a long road ahead. Maybe there's a lot of struggle in there. Maybe it's that struggle that holds the key. Right in the middle of that struggle. Are the keys to compassion. Right in the middle of that struggle. Keys to happiness. Sounds like a pretty wild theory. But I've been running away from it for so long. I'm willing to try something different. I'm willing to allow courage. I'm willing to allow the courage to go right into it. It might be messy. It might be difficult. But I'm always right here. And I can always breathe. And I know there's a way. I know there's a way. I know there's a way through. So choosing to open myself up to love. Choosing to open myself up to forgiveness. Not just for myself. But for everyone else. All the people have taught me that I should be like this. All the people that told me I wasn't good enough. All the people that told me I need to punish myself. Even though grudges might feel safer. I'm willing to open up to another way. I'm willing to open up to forgiveness. I'm willing to open up on a cellular level. Let all this biochemical need for self-punishment release itself. Choosing to let go. And any time I can choose to hold on again, But in this moment, I choose to let go and be open to whatever happens next. Choosing love, choosing peace, and choosing forgiveness.
in every cell of my body and every fiber of my being. Nice deep breath. It's a pretty difficult time uh, going through eating disorders. It's not easy at all. I'm aware of this. And so thanks for having the courage to step forward and try something as new and as strange looking as this. It's not gonna be an easy road, or it might be. I don't know. I don't know what it's gonna be like, but thank you anyway for stepping up and doing this.